I want to know all about how you got into character because I just interviewed uh, Adam, Sarah, Megan, and everyone is just was just reeling about the wigs and studying the accents and just how you came alive comedically. How did you prepare for, to be this German pop star? I just really have no shame and will throw myself into anything. And the higher the chance of failure, the more I, like, the more excited I am. I gave this everything I had and learning the German accent was incredibly tricky because it's a very difficult accent. I just got to throw myself into this completely different woman and she's so extra and the wigs and the makeup and the outfits and everything about her. She's just, uh, she's a hot clown, you know what I mean? And I think we need more of those in the world right now. And she's so deluded and I think I have this obsession with these delusional, narcissistic nightmares. I think that they just like, they're the most fun to play. And I couldn't have more inspiration to draw from when living in <laughs> Hollywood. And so, <laughs> so it was just, uh, it was just a joy. It was a joy and I was given so much freedom. What was harder, the singing or the dancing? The singing, I was doing sort of fake pop singing, right? Like I'm a jazz singer, I'm not a, a, a poppy girl. And so I was just doing kind of very like mousy, like poppy Euro vocals. The dancing I found extremely stressful because I am Mr. Bean with tits, so. <laughs> That's so true though. Mm -mm, you, you killed it, man. Sorry. Oh. I killed it and it died. I'm so clumsy that there was one, and I'm so lazy as well that I managed to <laughs> in one of the scenes to just push me around in a shoe that's got wheels on. Blula, I have to ask, what was your favorite or maybe your your hardest or I'm sure funniest scene to shoot? Ooh. Oh man, there are so many, I've lost all the counts. I think the most difficult was my uh, unintentional smoochy scenes with Jamila. We are broken up boyfriend girlfriend in this show. I'm like that wasn't supposed, it was in the script. Oh, it was, they didn't tell me. They just said action and said nothing. And all of a sudden I was smooched. It was fine, I just. <laughs> they didn't give me call sheets, Francesca. I didn't receive a script until after we wrapped. I had no, no idea what was going on in this show. He wasn't paid, uh, yeah, we. Wasn't paid. You were paid? We did, we did a lot of kissing. In fact, my first day on set, the first thing I had to do was like, throw, like grab Flula in my arms like throw him down and lay one on him. That was so intense. It was such an intense way to meet someone. Yes. Lyra, <laughs> did, you, did you have a favorite scene or a fun scene that you shot? I don't even know where to start because also a lot of fun was happening behind the scenes and, and, and everything of it was fun, but I don't want to say too much, but there was this moment where uh, Bumper uh, is recording a song and um, Adam Divine was um, standing in this, you know, box where you like record music and he just improv in a way, which I was sitting there and I was like, I, I, I can't, I can't believe that's real. Like I couldn't stop laughing. Like <laughs> the whole thing is just an act. Like, I don't even know where to start or which scene to pick. You know, they will tell you for the interviews, like, you know, pick three scenes. I'm like, which one? <laughs> I love that. Uh, Jamila, I, I, since I've asked Lula and Lyra, I have to jump in there with you since you're smooching anyone with lips these days. <laughs> reputation now um i was quite excited because i've only kissed six people in real life right irl my number is low so i'm trying to pull the number up so i've been counting my on-screen kisses so now technically with manny jacinto in the good place and flu and tim meadows i'm at a nine what was your favorite scene to do oh my favorite scene to do was probably pretzel fest uh we see kind of flashes of it i'm in like lederhosen and i'm um i'm just slapping my my absolute lack of ass, surrounded by the most amazing dancers, uh, like the funniest, silliest backing dancers. That for me was one of my favorite things, but also Sarah Highland is my favorite, like just like one of my favorite scene partners to riff with. Like we had a, we'd never met before and both loved each other's work, but from the second we stepped on set together, there was this kind of just like magic between us. There's a toilet scene with Sarah that I think will go down in my memory as like one of my favorite acting experiences alongside kissing Flula consensually. What's your go-to karaoke song since I'm asking you all about Pitch Perfect? So I gotta ask. The Knight Rider theme song. Thanks for that example, Flula. Mine is Area Codes by Ludacris. Oh no. Okay, so well, since Flula did his. It's not a feminist you... anthem, but it's a bop. Since Flula did his, can you drop a little bit from it? No, I will just tell you that um, 
No, I won't. I'm not even going to go there. There's no language that I can use on this from that song. Okay. <laughs> Mira, what about you? It's the term hors d'oeuvres. Absolutely incredible. Uh, I will take this one, the kisses of the sun, dun, 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 in my room. Wow. And then it goes, na 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 na, around the world, and na 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 na. I love that song. <laughs> if y'all do a season two, which country would you want to see Bumper and the rest of the characters travel to? Japan, mm -hmm. but I think it's going to be something like Sweden or Ireland. Ireland. Mm -hmm. I would be up for that. I would definitely love to. Like Hol Holland would be really fun. Italy would be so sick. That would be like my dream. Just pizza, pasta, and obviously like filming, but like pizza. And, and then no one of us would fit in the clothes anymore and we would not freaking care. Yeah. Lula, where are we going? It's got to start with a B. So it's either Berlin or Barbados or Bermuda or Bora Bora, you know, something like that. Barbados. Hey, time for a Ooh. 10. With an appearance by Rihanna. Why not? And Teddy Roosevelt, come on. <laughs>